Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum number of balloons. So in this question, we're given a string called text. We have to count the number of instances for the word balloon. We have to check the characters present inside text and using those characters, how many times you can form the word balloon and you can use each character at, at most once while calculating the output. And we have to return the number of times you can form the word balloon using the characters inside this input text. Now let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So here you can see that, so using this B, A, L, L, O, O, N, you can form one balloon and you used up most of the characters except these two and using these you can't form the word balloon. So you return one as the output. So here you can see that you're making use of how many characters are present inside the word balloon. So let's use a hash map to count how many times uh, these characters are repeating. The characters used to form balloon are B, A, L, O and N. L you are using twice and O you are using twice. So let's see how we can solve this question using code. So I've declared a hash map and I initialize the characters and initially I put the count as zero for these characters B, A, L, O and N. And now I'm iterating through the input string text using a for loop. I'm accessing each character at a time and I'm storing it inside the character variable ch and then I'm checking if that ch which I'm iterating through is present inside the map or not. If it is present then I'm inserting that character and updating its count to 1. If I take the same example let's see how the hash map is being filled. So initially all of them are going to be having zeros as values. And each time you iterate from left to right, I'm going to iterate this input string. So I'm going to start with n through o. So n is appearing once, l is appearing once, a is one, e is one. e is not there inside the map, so you don't consider that. b is one, o is one. You have a l again, so you update l to two. You have a k. K is not present inside the map, so ignore it. O again, so update O's count to 2. Till here, we have filled the map. Now we know you can use only each character once. You find the minimum among all the values present. So first I'm starting with a variable min and getting the count of B to start with. B's count is 1, so min is equal to 1. Since O and L are appearing twice in the word balloon, so I'm dividing that count by 2 so that I compare it with the minimum value because in each balloon you are using 2 L's and 2 O's. So if there are 2 L's and 2 O's inside the map, you are going to use both these characters to form one balloon. So that is why I am dividing L and O with 2's to form one word. So minimum among them is 1. So this by 2, this by 2 will also give you 1. So minimum among them is 1. So I am updating each min variable by getting the count of all the characters used to form the word balloon starting with b through n b a l o and n and l and o will be divided by 2 because in one balloon word you are using 2 l's and 2 o's and finally you are returning the variable min and in this case min is going to have 1 only so 1 will be returned as out. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because I'm using a for loop to fill the map where n is the length of the input string text and the space complexity is also O of 1 because I'm using constant space inside the map. Though I'm using a map, I'm using constant space inside the map. So you can say that the space complexity is constant because the space is always going to be O of 5 because I'm using 5 entries inside the map. Since O of 5 is constant, I'm using O of 1 as the space complexity. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.